Welcome back to another video. I know I've been uh, not posting lately. It's because we've been working on a new studio for this channel. So hopefully it looks good. The lighting looks good. The backdrop looks good. The sound look sounds good. <laughs> Anyways, we're here to talk about the digital coin counting money jar. Uh, this thing uh, counts money as you put it in the jar, so you know how much is in the jar. So if anybody steals it, then you count, you know, when you take it out and count it, then you know something's missing, somebody's stealing it. So I picked this up at Walmart for a whopping $20. I know you can get it on eBay cheaper. Something a little bit different. This is from Perfect Solutions. And uh, let's get right into it. So that's all that's in the box. Your bag. So this thing has an uh, easy twist off lid. Instructions. Which basically just tells you how to reset it. You need two AA batteries that are not included. There's a little reset button on the back. So it was also saying in the instructions to drop it in like one coin at a time so it has time to count it. Let's put that to the test. First, you need two AA batteries. Second, you need a small Phillips screwdriver to take off the battery case or to open it. Clock these bad boys inside. So it is in Canadian can't change it so basically this thing reads off of the size the diameter of the coin being dropped in so it's already pre-programmed for like selected sizes so a penny is going to be you know however with the diameter of a penny it's going to be one cent so what I have in here this is the good old money sack don't forget, this is the last video with our hint in it for the giveaway. Okay, so let's screw this thing back on. So it's at 0, 0.00. So I got a bunch of different coins here. I got quarters, pennies, nickels, dimes, loonies, toonies, and I also got just some ran uh, these are uh, tokens for a movie theater here so I'm gonna see what it says but anyways let's start with a penny let's see if it counts a penny one cent so when you put it in it flashes and it tells you what you put in and then it'll add it up so there's a penny in there it'll flash a penny and then it'll go up to two cents Let's go with a, let's go with a dollar. So it flashes a dollar, and then now it's a dollar oh two. So, I mean, this is good if you have, like, you know, if you're coming home from work or whatever, and you have a pocket full of change, throw it in there, you know, tips if you're working delivery or restaurant or something, you know, you throw it all in there, then you know how much you have if no one steals it. Throw a quarter in. 25 cents. So we're at a dollar 27 right now. So let's see what happens if we throw one of these uh, tokens in there. So it's about the same size as a quarter, I think. It's a little bit smaller than a quarter. A Canadian quarter. This is all Canadian, except for this. This is just a token. It marked it as a 25 cent coin. I wonder if it says right on it no cash value. Here goes another one, a different, uh, a different one, but same thing. 25 cents. Let's try tuning. Two dollars. We try a nickel yet? No. Let's try a nickel. There we go. So there's like a little slot, and there's like a little, uh, a little gate thing that opens and closes. So when you squeeze it in, it opens it up and it's spring-loaded so it just kind of 
shoots it in there. So let's see what happens. Okay, we're at 382. Let's uh, throw in $1.30 and see if it gets up to there. I'm gonna do it really fast because you're only supposed to drop it in like one at a time so it has time to count. Let's do $1.35 and see what happens here. Okay, so we're at a 382, $1.35 should bring us up to 517. Let's go. Can't even get it in there. Oh, I already screwed it up. 542. When I pushed it in, it didn't go in all the way, so I thought it dropped in a nickel or something. I don't know what it was. Okay, so we're at 542. Let's drop in two quarters, one after another. 92. So you can drop it in as, as fast as you want. I think what it's saying is you can't drop in like two at a time because it'll count as one. Yeah. So you know you can just go like that, down, and just like that. So, anyways, there's the digital coin counting money jar. Um, like I said, I got this for twenty dollars. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon or eBay for a little bit cheaper. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like I said, this is our last video uh, for the the four hints that we gave out to enter into our giveaway, which I'll leave a link to that video down below. So go check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on the next video. Okay? Okay. I'm going to the bank.